Hello Internet World, my name is Zek and I'll be walking you guys through a quick little tutorial on how to use a LUT file for the new CineStyle from Technicolor if you don't have a LUT plugin for your editor. So right now I'm in Sony Vegas and I got this shot that I did right here uh, with the CineStyle. As you can see it's kind of bland, kind of all the colors are flat. But once we apply the uh, LUT file, or the lookup table to it, it should look a lot better. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is grab the lookup table from Technicolor themselves on the download page right next to the Cine Style itself. Right down here you want to grab the raw color correction. This one right here. Click that, download it, open it up. Now if you open this, you'll notice it's just a text file with a bunch of numbers. So what you can do is you can select all those, you can copy them, and what these are is it's just a predefined curve that Technicolor thinks looks best with it. So then you want to open up Google Docs or Excel or anything like that and you want to paste in all those numbers and then what you'll do is you'll just make a quick chart of it and as you can see this chart here looks like an S-curve th and I think trend looks be best for this gives a nice big curve without a bunch of other stuff sitting around so you want to throw that in there and helps if you make it as square as you can so then go back into your video editor and add some color correction so you just take a color curve start with a basic curve here and we'll throw this to the left so we can see both our curve and our target curve right here and I'll move this around so you can see what's going on while I do it and you just want to tweak this curve and make it look as make this curve here look as close to this curve here so pull those around I'm kind of just estimating real quick and I actually already built one that is an identical match saved it as a preset so that's good to do once you get it built but now you've noticed that this actually looks pretty good so we will size that back up so we can so you guys at home can see it there we go and we actually have a really good looking image straight off the batch so we went from turn this off here this very bland it's kinda noisy in here and you can see the artifacts And I'll put the full resolutions up as well but you just add that curve and it makes all that black but still keeps all the details I don't know if you guys can see but right in here where these little notches are I guess once you throw that up they're still there they're faint but the detail is still there and then from there you can go in your regular way of adding your color correction to your scene to make it look well however you want it to you know if you want to do something like that do it right there and the cine style is just so easy to grade no matter what you do with it it just looks looks well good and that's all I got if you got something to add or if I really screwed something up let me know in the comments